Okay, we uh, are here at Pierce today doing the final on uh, three engines, Pierce Aero XTs, that we started the process on about three years ago. And our goal at that time was to change over our fleet. Uh, we weren't quite sure which manufacturer we were going with then, but our goal was to standardize for, for our organization, for our maintenance people, and to be able to provide a good service to our people. Uh, so, at the end of that process, we're at the culmination of it now with these three engines that we are picking up, uh, doing the final inspection on. We have Piro, Pierce Aero XT with the medium body, and we have gone with, uh, we have a few unique things to us. As we started this process, we solicited from our membership and people in our community things that were important. And every community is diverse, and every community has uh, different response areas. For us, we have both urban and very rural. We have interface issues. So we built engines, or with Pierce built engines for us, that meet those, those important things. So uh, with the TAC-4 suspension, which a, a lot of people are familiar with, we have uh, some pretty rough roads out in our rural areas. And this allows our members to uh, protect their head and neck, obviously, as they're responding. Um, some things that we, we did in the cab here, we standardized our, our switches. Uh, we have one 09 Pierce XT right now. And so we built this, these three engines to, to match as closely as possible that engine that we did eight years ago. And the engines and the ladders that we plan to buy in the future are going to match these. So the biggest thing for me, uh, something that's important is that as a driver, when you switch between stations, when you switch between apparatus, you're able to, at two o'clock in the morning, know where that pump switch is. It decreases the amount of training that we have to do because uh, the drivers are trained to one specific apparatus and it applies to every station. We went with uh, a configuration that our region, our zone, has identified as far as uh, seating and the boxes with mesh being able to see inside. Um, in the East King County, there is a spec that pretty much covers these items. Everyone's going to it. So when you have mutual aid companies, we have 33 engines in our area that are staffed. Uh, when you work on or have to pull equipment off a neighboring engine, you know right where to go, and everything is pretty much in the same place. Uh, one thing that is extremely unique about these engines, there is no plumbing front or rear on the engine. The only plumbing that you have is here at the pump panel. We have two crosslays, uh, two inch and three quarter pre-connects. Everything else in the back in the hose bed is a dead load. There's no intake front or rear. There's no discharge front or rear. Uh, this allows us to train our members in the whole region to uh, work with dry hose, pulling from a bulk bed, pulling hose bundles, and uh, everyone's operating the same, and it, it really streamlines our process. And it was decided by, by uh, the King County Training Chiefs uh, that this was how they wanted the model to be, and so we have, as we ordered, uh, tried to attain that. Um, one really cool thing I, uh, that I haven't seen in a lot of places, we added toolboxes that are built in. No longer do we have a toolbox that we're removing. So as an engineer, you have a toolbox that's set here with all of your hardware and the tools that you need that doesn't slide around and hopefully uh, keeps your stuff a lot cleaner. As we move back to the back hose bed here, this, uh, what I was talking about, as far as the, the features... This hose bed is designed for bundles and bulk bed, uh, dry loads. The way we are configured is two and a half, three inch, five inch, and then apartment bundles uh, and long tools. So our long tool storage is here easily accessible. You don't have to open a compartment door and then open a second door or go to the top, which a lot of people have the long trays in the top. And uh, I don't feel comfortable sending firefighters on every incident to the top of the engine to get something that we have to use on a daily basis. Um, one thing that we added back here that we didn't have on our 09 and I haven't seen on other engines, we added an additional, I believe it's six inch step. Instead of just having the enclosed step here, 
providing for firefighter safety and giving my guys an ability when you're loading hose or when you jump up to pull hose off, this has, I think it will change the way we operate. Um, as we move around this side, one thing that we are working towards is getting gear out of the, out of the cab. So we are setting up our compartments, uh, fault patterning after what we've seen with Bellevue Fire in Washington, getting the company officer's gear and the engineer's gear into a compartment on a hook, uh, the helmet secured here as opposed to inside the cab. So that's something that we're really looking forward to so that as we bring gear back after an incident, it's not contaminating the environment for us. Um, I think we uh, made it all the way around back here to the the company officer's side, the Pierce Aero XT gives an amazing amount of room. We've worked off American La France for a lot of years. That is the fleet that we're currently replacing. And the, the room that the company officer has in the Aero XT to be able to uh, look at a map, actually move their feet, uh, move their knees, work the MDC, it's very impressive. So we talked about the start of this process years ago, this wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't been for our administration and our commissioners who supported the vision of changing our fleet at one time. We have three stations and we are purchasing three engines uh, to be followed very shortly in the next couple months with the, the beginning of a uh, tiller committee to replace a tiller that hopefully will be in the same, uh, same design as these engines. So the support of our administration and our commissioners and with Hughes Fire, who has been exceptional, the, the contact, the emails back and forth daily, sometimes several times a day to streamline this process and give us a good finished product. It's been amazing. Thanks.